Good morning. Welcome along to Friday morning. Right, I've got a little bit of reporting to do. A product review. You know, yesterday, I think it was yesterday or the day before, I said to you that I'd ordered a rubber ring to sit on to alleviate the pressure off my sores on my legs and my backside. Well, it turned up and Siobhan got the pump out and she blew it out for us and it was rock solid. Tracy sat on it and nearly fell off. I said, deflate it a bit, so she did, but it still wasn't adequate. So it's gone back to Amazon for a refund of ten ninety nine. I think I'm just going to have to put up, stop whinging like a bat, biatch, and um, get on with life. That's what I'm going to have to do. On the other hand, though, it does have its perks of laying here in this bed. Uh, let's just say yesterday, I had a good, a good bit of fortune on... Um, the slot games. I signed up quite a few months ago to Foxy Bingo, so Tracy, Siobhan and me could have played bingo. But then I realised they had slot machines, so I became addicted to doing that again. Uh, I won £145 yesterday. Yes, £145. I said to Tracy, I keep getting down to the last three quid, and then I just win loads of money. I'm not complaining. I think it's just an incentive to keep you there to make you spend more money. That's what it is. What do you reckon, Trace? Yeah. Why have we got all these torches on? It's all right, Siobhan's looking at Tracy's foot with a torch. A splinter. Oh. Well, did you watch the opening ceremony for the Commonwealth Games yesterday from Birmingham? Very well put together. Very well choreographed. Choreographed. Fud. Fied food, fid fied. Uh, we sat there watching it with chicken nuggets, which were disguised as pigs in blankets. Apparently, they're from Iceland. It was a uh, an evening snack snackage. Yeah, going to be a few of them over the next couple couple of weeks while the Commonwealth Games are on. I think they're on for ten days. Ten days of athletics and stuff like that. Cheer Tracy up. She won't do nothing then. She won't do a bloody thing. I oh, know you don't. I'm going to rest your feet. You rest your feet. Right, well, I've got Nursey Nursey coming out today. Then I haven't got anybody for the weekend. I've got two carers today, which is probably Charlotte and Angie, being a Friday. I'm not sure, but is that right? Yes. Yeah, it's Charlotte and Angie. I Jojo yesterday. I put uh, Tracy put her idea of uh, notion into her little head where she could earn herself a bit of extra money from me and Tracy, so uh, that's all going to go ahead by the looks of it. We took it old to Susie now from the council to get the ball rolling. I think Tracy has her phone number somewhere. She does. But she's still got to ring the vets up because Tango needs to have some uh, bits done. Worming his uh, next course of flea treatment. Then we've got to uh, prepare for his ball chop. Just like poor Tigger had a few years back. But, uh, oh, Siobhan's going to make me a nice hot chocolate this morning. That'd be very nice. Better than a mum's manky coffee that I've put up with every morning. I reckon it's that that makes me sick, you know. Nearly out of coffee. Nearly out of coffee? <gasps> Better buy some tomorrow, hadn't we? Yeah. Or today when you go over to Asda to get my paper. At least get some more tomorrow. As well. What? Ganderell. You can have a look at the food bank when you go up there. Don't do what? They must. You don't know what they'll have now. They've had all those donations from V2, haven't they? So, uh, we'll see how we get on there. Speaking of V2, no Steve again tonight. I don't know what he's doing, but he's not there. Somebody else is in place. He'll be back Sunday. For the uh, Down and Arms Lockdown. Our uh, favourite time of the week, Fridays. Yeah, it's come again, isn't it? Weekend. What can we do? Not a lot. Right, well, I'm going to say goodbye, as I normally do. And uh, I shall speak to you tomorrow. So, hello, Angie, Rob, Nicole, Rosie, Joey and Amelia. Mum, still not heard. Lucy, James, Emily... And Mr. GB, Gavin Bastard.
Right, well, you look after yourselves. Look after your neighbours. Be kind and honest to one another. And I'll see you in the morning. All right. You never know. I might have something different, exciting to tell you. I might grow a leg. Ah!